it is a white winter for sure it's very very cold and we just had a snowstorm and it's snowing again and we had to come in and the entrance was covered in snow so Scott had to do some shoveling right babe yeah well, I'm oh I got I didn't spill any all right, I'm going back in because it's cool as hell. Come on in. <laughs> Getting ready to shoot my routine for today, which is actually going to be my routine for you guys for the Tuesday tune-up. I decided I'm going to do a circuit. I haven't been around for about a week and a half. Been in LA filming a DVD all last week, and so my workouts have been a little shaky in the sense that I can't exactly push myself to my limit when I know I have a DVD shoot coming up because you just... you. You have to be able to perform, as I'm sure you guys can imagine. I can't be doing high intensity circuits on camera after doing like a leg workout or a hardcore back and shoulder workout because I'll just be too sore to do all that stuff. And so when I get back from doing stuff like that or if, if you, even if you, if you're away from the gym for a while and you want to jump back into it but you want to do it in a way that's going to be the most beneficial for you, in my opinion, the best thing to do is like a circuit and just kind of jump in. Do a circuit, work on your mobility, and just wake your body up. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna wake our bodies up. So the four exercises that I chose for the circuit are gonna be deadlifts, burpees, pull-ups, and then we're gonna do some stomach vacuums. And the stomach vacuums, I only want you guys doing it like two or three times. And there's no set time limit for the stomach vacuum. You basically just kind of breathe out all your air and then hold your stomach in as tight as you can for as long as you can. We're only going to do that two or three times. The reason why in this circuit I'm doing a deadlift is because I feel like I need to just like, wake up my central nervous system. And for me, the deadlift is a perfect exercise to do that with. We're doing 20 reps per exercise. And my goal is going to be to just kind of add weight each time I do the circuit to my deadlift. If you want to add weight to the other exercises, such as the burpee or the pull-up, you can put some ankle weights on or a weighted vest. For me, I'm just going to focus on adding weight to my deadlift because I'm doing 20 reps a piece. If you want to make it more intense, you can try going faster and faster with the burpees and the pull-ups. If you start to get stuck and you're having a hard time, you can alter these exercises with the deadlift and you just lower the weight. There's really no alter for this. For the burpees, if you get tired and you want to keep pushing yourself, just do a little, a little slower burpee and go down to the ground here and then extend and then go into a push up and then come here and then go up. Just kind of make it into a bunch of small movements as, as opposed to one explosive one. And then for the pull ups, you can go into kipping if you need to. I prefer you don't. Hermanites train harder. We're just going to go through it the right way. So let's get started. I got my amino X over here, in case you're wondering what this purple drink is. Some BCAAs. Let's get chopped up and do it. Now remember, you're doing 20 reps. Goal is to pace yourself and do every exercise hardcore.
Ten more. It's hard to do those when you're winded. But that's how we're doing this circuit. The goal is to get my body back on track. And remember, that's supposed to be able to do this stuff. So the goal of the stomach vacuum is to breathe out all your air and then pull in your stomach as hard as you can. Like you're pulling your belly button to your spine. That's gonna be a lot harder to do when you're winded. Just focus, focuses, forces you to work your core more. So I'm gonna do it like four or five times right now, then start my second circuit. You can only hold it for like five seconds right now. If anything, this will help you control your breathing. Two more. Ugh. <sighs> 
Five more. So, at this point, you're pretty fatigued. Still got more rounds to go. So what you wanna do is set many goals for yourself. So right now, I have to do 20 pull-ups. I don't wanna do any kipping, so I'm gonna set goals of doing four sets of five to get to 20. And to me, in my head, the smaller number of only having to do five helps me overcome thinking about doing all 20. Let's do it. Control your breathing and go into a stomach vacuum. Hold it as long as you can, four or five times. If you've never done these before, it might not look like much. But once you start trying it, especially when you're already, already gasping for air, you'll see. Well, they're in for a surprise. 
burpees. Now we got burpees. You can clip if you want. I don't want to. I need to put my endurance back up for regular pull-ups. So hard to do these where you can't catch your breath. One more. <sighs> All right, guys. So you suffered through three rounds with me. I got three more to go, but you guys get the idea. These next three rounds might take me a little while, but unfortunately, you know, it's a holiday season. When you're traveling, you're doing all kinds of stuff. When you want to kick it back into high gear, you gotta struggle and you gotta put yourself through this torment to wake your body up. And it'll wake up much quicker if you pace yourself, take your time, do compound exercises. That's why I'm doing deadlift for strength, burpee, nice massive compound exercise, and pull ups. Where well, you can get, never get enough of pull ups, as you guys know. So, try this routine out, see how many rounds you can do. I'm gonna bump this up. Now obviously I'm pretty fatigued. These burpees are killing me. Pull-ups are destroying me. Stomach vacuums are feeling great. But I wanna get my strength up here. So for my next set, I'm gonna raise it up another 10 pounds per side. So the 295, and hopefully get up to 315 by the time I'm done. So, hope you guys enjoyed my routine. For more great tips, exercise and routines, Feel free to join me on scarhumanfitness.com. You can click my logo down here. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.